Good day everyone! For today's video, we're going to tackle the current issue in technology news, which is the freedom of expression and censorship. To begin, let us first identify the definition of freedom of expression. So freedom of expression or freedom of speech is a principle that supports the freedom of an individual or a community to articulate their opinions and ideas without fear of retaliation, censorship, and legal sanction. The term freedom of expression is usually used anonymously but in legal sense includes any activity of seeking, receiving, and imparting information or ideas regardless of the medium used. The right to freedom of expression is recognized as a human right under Article 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And like any other right, freedom of speech is not absolute. We need to say there are kinds of speeches that are restrained by the government. People who are not mindful of such limits shall be held responsible for abusing this freedom. This simply means that we can be held liable for the consequences of our speech. And we cannot claim the right to freedom of speech when we use such right in a wrong way. And here are the common limitations or boundaries to freedom of speech and expression. Now let's go to censorship. What is censorship? Censorship occurs when individuals or groups try to prevent others from saying, printing, or depicting words in images. Censors seek to limit freedom of thought and expression by restricting spoken words, printed matter, symbolic messages, freedom of association, books, art, music, movies, television programs, and internet sites. When the government engages in censorship, First Amendment freedoms are implicated. Censorship can be conducted by governments, private institutions, and other controlling bodies. Here are the types of censorship. And in this time of crisis where there is a threat to public health on this scale, governments are allowed and often required to take more restrictive measures than they would in normal times for a better and safety precautions of the people and its country. So I guess that would be all for today's video. I hope you have learned something from this. And remember, peace begins with a smile. Thank you.